think humans get stuck into traps. Or the humans accidentally step in traps. I don't know what anybody, personally where I'm at, I don't know what anybody would be down here doing. And besides, you can usually see them pretty good. They're not hidden. The coyote traps are too small. Catch your dog and let your, let your dog out, you know. Or, I mean, you don't have to use a sledgehammer to to get a dog out of a cold spring trap. Catch my dog, caught my dog like three times last fall. Because one minute he's just walking down to the mailbox with you, the next second he's running off checking my traps for me. You know? A lot of people worried about their dogs getting caught and all that stuff, but. I'm about to, this might be stupid, because this is a pretty good sized trap, this is a Bridger number 5, but I'm going to put my foot in the damn thing, so, <laughs> it's on a trounder, and I'm all by myself, so, let's see how that turns out, I mean, you know, fuck it, I'm sure I can pull the drowner out, and I'm sure I can get my foot out. And I don't think anybody's going to be, you know, when it's warm enough to actually be out wandering around in the water, like this water's cold still, you know, it's below 40 degree water still, but people should, the traps will be gone. It's a winter time type of deal. Yeah, I know there's some people out doing nuisance, but in the dead of summer, no, nah, nobody's out doing that shit. So let's see how this turns out. I do got to say that was a first for me. Not very often I take my hip waiter off and come out here and sit on the edge of the bank and stick my feet in traps. There it is. bleeding and it's uh you could uh if you didn't know how to work the levers you could stick a stick in there on each side you know what I mean so I can pretty now right now I can pretty much actually I'm gonna try it take my fingers hold the trap open It's caught on my, it's caught on my one pad now. <laughs> All right, let's set the camera down here. For you guys making uh, videos, make sure you're getting your thumbnails and stuff out there on the field. Um. Because uh, I've been going back wishing I had better thumbnails now that I'm, you know, kind of upgraded it a little bit. So I'm going to take a couple pictures. Various angles here. But yeah, make sure you're getting your thumbnails. I should have started doing better thumbnails a long time ago. I'm just now upgrading my thumbnails. Alright guys, uh, let me get this off. I just thought I'd throw this out there. I know 
there's a lot of people that are just like they're gonna break your legs and, and hands and feet and all that stuff this is a pretty good sized trap this is for beaver it's bigger than anybody would you know use for for coyotes usually so it's a uh, probably just put my foot right down on it. My, my foot's a 14 inch. So you just grab the levers like that. The levers like this and it opens it up. I mean, it's a big trap, see? I don't know. Something different for you guys. Since I didn't catch a beaver today when I'm out making a video. Usually I catch my beavers and all my catches so when it's dark when I'm checking traps before work. So, it's a weekend. I'm not making videos today. I didn't have a beaver today. So, there you go. I caught something. Appreciate everybody watching. If you would, if you're not subscribed, it would be great if you would subscribe. Because uh, I'd really like to get my subscriber numbers up. If you're into fishing, trapping, shooting guns pretty much anything outdoors uh, probably throw some gardening in there some chicken some koi pond I got a koi pond stuff like that if you guys are into that hit the like like button subscribe to my channel appreciate it thanks for watching guys stay tuned so let's see how this turns out Lexus edit the fuck part.